Welcome to 574 Sports. I'm Ben Cotton, and to my left, we have Carly and Caitlin O'Neill. They are on the women's basketball team here at Goshen College, and I'm going to tell you a little background about them. To my left right here, we have Carly O'Neill, who led the team in points, assists, and steals. And we also have Caitlin O'Neill. She had an early injury to her ACL, correct? But she also had her artwork, and I happened to uh, walk by and saw some of your stuff. Saw your pieces with the both of you. Mm -hmm. The saw the twin together, then like the single shots and like the pots and everything. It was Thanks. yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So first question is, how's it feel to be athletes of the month? I feel honored. Uh, couldn't have been possible without our team and uh, the support of just everyone in our lives, our family, friends, etc., and the support of each other too. So. Feel, I feel really blessed. Way. All right, so uh, what coaches or players influenced you like during the season? Um, definitely Coach Miller. Uh, she always puts her heart and soul into uh, every day, every practice, even off days. When we're having an off day, it's never an off day for her. She um, always puts us first, and uh, she's a she's a great um, leader for our, our program and. Um, she really uh, helped motivate me this season, especially not having Caitlin. Um, that was a transition for me. I have always had her as my crutch and someone that I always had um, playing with me and I'm, that I was used to having. And not having her on the floor anymore was kind of hard at first. So she definitely was an integral part of my senior year. So, um, For me, I'd probably say Coach Miller, of course, like Carly. Um, but it was different because, like, I wasn't playing this year. Her support was more of mentally, like, str like be strong mentally um, and try to still find a way to be a good captain even though I couldn't play. Mm -hmm. um, so I saw a new side of myself as a basketball player and leader um, because I couldn't play. Um, so I tried to value um, other ways of leading, like cheering on the bench and... Um, going up to girls outside of practice, making sure they're okay. Um, and also my family. Um, I was having a really hard time, especially um, right after I had surgery. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been able to recover as well as I have so far. Um, they took care of me during yeah. the whole Christmas break. So. <laughs> now, is this y'all's first time not being able to play together this year? Yeah. yeah. And when did y'all start? When we were four years old. Four years old. It's crazy. It's been like 18 or 19 years of 18. playing together. 18 years of basketball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> now, Caitlin, this was for you. Uh, what's your mindset of this year, coming come back for your uh, red shirt senior year? Um, so my mentality is no matter how frustrated I am, just remember how I felt well, like this past season um, and just enjoy the up, the ups and downs of the season um i guess this last this next season i guess it's not just for the team but it's also for me to kind of like make peace with um the game and also to kind of no offense but not be in my sister's shadow for once um she was always so much better than me in sports in high school and then in college um <laughs> in college <laughs> i uh i found a way to kind of try to work hard and try to, she pushed me to get better and I finally got to that level last year where I was the best player I've ever been and I got hurt so that was frustrating but um, I've learned a lot from that experience and I'm hoping to not only get to that level again hopefully by the time next year comes around but hopefully be better. Um, maybe I will be better mentally since I went through yeah. that. You know, yeah. Who knows? But yeah. yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe. Exactly. One step back, two steps forward. Yeah. Yeah. And we both had, or sorry, Goshen College has only had y'all two for two years. Unfortunately, we couldn't have you for the full four. <laughs> but, so coming in, what were y'all thinking when y'all first came here? Um, I think we were just anxious to, to start new, and we were really excited to be closer to home, so we knew that we'd have a lot of home, uh, a lot of our family and, like, community-based people coming to a lot of our games and supporting us, so that was exciting. and. Um, something to look forward to because we didn't really have well we had like family like at our games but they weren't by blood they were just people that we became really close with mm -hmm. in our in our community in West Virginia um, but uh, just being in our home state was something that we were really looking forward to and 
um, just the team and Coach Miller, like we said, she's an amazing coach and uh, someone that you really enjoy playing for. So we were really excited to play for her. So. Yeah, I remember that. I remember senior day. Senior day, y'all had a pack house just for y'all two. <laughs> yeah. Had your own student section and everything. <laughs> That's gonna how it's gonna be for you though. When yeah. You're a senior. Yeah. Your family's gonna come up. Yeah, we gotta make that process go slow. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. What are your final moments of career? What's your favorite moment as a senior? I think one of my favorite moments was um, probably the Marion game, uh, the last season or the last game of the season. Mm -hmm. um, we all, the whole year, is just, I felt like our record didn't really reflect truly how our team was, uh, just chemistry wise and just how we always played for each other. And yeah, we'd always have up and ups and downs just any like any other team, but. I, I truly felt like we put the pieces together that last game, and um, it was just really exciting and fun to be a part of that last game because everyone was putting everything out on the line. Everyone was diving for balls and just going all out, and those are the type of games that you really love you know, to be a part of and to play. So um, I think that was probably one of my favorite parts of the season this past year. Um, I agree with what she said. The last game was really fun, um, but I have to say for me, uh, my favorite part of this year was probably the first game of the season because I actually got to start with Carly for the first time in like four years. And it was just an awesome feeling to be able to do that. I mean, it only lasted four minutes, but <laughs> <laughs> it was still awesome. And I'll never forget like the beginning of the game, right at the tip off, I got the ball and I made like one of the best passes I've ever made. Greatest and pass. She, and she went up for the layup and she missed it, but it's okay. <laughs> That was the last play we had together uh, in our game, and I'll never forget yep. it. So. All right, uh, Caitlin, so can you tell us about the bond you had with your teammates on and off the court? Um, um, I'd say my relationship with the girls got stronger um, this past year because um, I'm just the type of person that cares about everybody, and it might be a bad thing on how much I care about everybody and everything, but I just do, and I can't help it. So. Um, we have that reciprocal relationship where we all look out for each other. Um, but for me specifically, I, I think because of what I went through, I had to lean on them to help me get through it a little bit more than what I thought. And that made us uh, closer together, I think. Um, and hopefully I have, I mean, I have a lot of respect for my teammates and I hope that I've earned that respect back just by what I've been through and that I'm coming back and, you know, such like that so yeah <laughs> for sure all right and as a wrap up uh carla you have anything you want to say as you finish up your career anyone that's like watching as a young kid to your sister or, or to your team who's going to watch it later um just don't take um the game for granted i guess um there was a moment at the beginning of my collegiate career that i wished that i was done playing and it's because of all the adversity that you face but I wouldn't trade it for anything because it makes you who you are and it makes you stronger. And um, for the team, I just hope that they keep trusting the process and just like putting in the work. Don't let the, the, the record, you know, show that that's how you truly are. It's not, it's way bigger than that. And um, I truly believe our team's gonna be really great within these next few years. And I'm really excited to see how they do. And I'm really excited for Caitlin to lead them next year, so. I know you'll do great. Thanks. Yeah. And Kaylin, as you, you're about to have your another senior year, <laughs> uh, you have anything you'd like to say for other people who've been through the same injury or has recently happened to them, like just some motivation to keep them going? Um, I'd say make the most out of what you're going through. Um, you can learn a lot about yourself and moments that are hard. Um, I could have chose to not come back I could have chose to give up and not do my therapy and just um, yeah I could have chosen to look at it in a, in a negative way but what I when I encourage people that are going through a hard time with an injury or any it doesn't have to be ACL any type of injury that trust the process and trust that there's a reason why you're going through what you're going through and maybe the reason why you're going through it is because you're gonna be better when you're done and it's going to make you better, whether it's going to be like you come back and play basketball or it's going to make you a stronger person outside the court. 
and help you connect to people that are going through a hard time. Just trust the process, I guess, yeah. is my advice. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Carly, thank you for everything you've done for us, all the hard work you gave for us, and just the heart you showed this season, your senior thank year. You. Kaylin, we're, we're happy to have you back for next year, and Thanks. we know you're going to do the same, play, your, play with all your heart and all your might. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching 574 Sports. I'm Ben Cotton with Carly and Caitlin O'Neill. Thank you for watching.